Hello creative planners, welcome back to my channel. This is Tori from Calypso Creative Planning. In today's Plan With Me video, we're gonna take a look at this weekly spread in my pink ink silver edition planner. So stay tuned to see how it came together. Okay, so we're working in my pink ink one month planner and I'm gonna start pulling in some stickers. This is the trending set by Lux Book and I love this little hustle banner so I'm gonna use it to go at the top of this page. Now some stickers that I pull in, I have a general idea of where I want them to go. I have like this look in my head for part of it but not all of it. Um, I love this little bow clip and I've honestly never used one of these in like a paper planner, but I thought it'd be fun to play with it in a digital planner. And I have a delivery coming in on Monday, so I love this little delivery sticker. So let's throw that in there. And this cat, I mean, come on, this cat is adorable. I've used that cat before in a daily spread, really cute. Great on black pages. This little planner girl planner followers I may start tracking my Instagram followers every Monday so I'm gonna stick that there these hearts are so freaking cute and I love the hot pink look of these stickers so that's kind of an inspiration for this too and I'm gonna stick these flowers down here by the habit tracker I don't always use the habit tracker on this weekly spread so I may or may not use that this time so I'm gonna stick that in this spot little bubble and what else oh this week I'm gonna stick that down here to replace habits and this is the sticker queen collection from Lux book love this this quote sticker says stacking my money and minding my business that's pretty cute <laughs> So I think this little gold banner will look really cute in here somewhere. And I love this sticker that just says the list. I'm going to put that instead of notes down at the bottom. I think I'll stick that there. This review mirror, never look back. I haven't used this yet at all. So I needed to use this. And then I'm going to grab a couple of these squares. This gold line one since we do have gold in uh, a couple elements pull that in and this pink will be a fun background I think that I'll cover up the habit tracker and just do like a decorative note area instead okay so this is my teal dream set this is in my shop and I'm gonna grab um, uh, another background option because I don't know which one I want to use yet and a colorful box. This would just be like a note box that I can use. And what else? Let's get one of these little banner stickers. This could be for my dates up at the top. And I, I'm gonna open up my rainbow treat sticker book because I wanna see how this pink looks with these pinks and I don't really like it <laughs> so I think I'll stick with the purple and this is the punk gal set from worthy gal love worthy gal stickers they are some of my new favorites right now and I'm gonna grab this little chalkboard that can go here for notes and I'm gonna start moving these stickers out of the way so that I can adjust this background sticker to cover up my habit tracker since I won't use it this week and when I was editing this I realized that I'm such a perfectionist sometimes I mean look how many times I'm adjusting this to get it the just right size 
sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad to be a bit of a perfectionist. All right, so now I'm going to cut and paste the, the flowers and this little chalkboard so that they sit on top of this background sticker and just resize things until I like it. And I'm going to test out this background to see which one I like. I think I like this one better because it's going to make the chalkboard and the flowers pop a little more because it's darker but still pulls in the pinks. See, pops a lot better. I like that. So now I'm going to use this box and I'm going to cover up the note box area. And yes, every all my resources are going to be linked in the description. So make sure to check that out. You don't have to, you know, try to remember all these sets that I'm using. I will have them linked in the description for you. So this is going to be like my to-do list for the week, like my priority list. So I'm going to stick that there instead of notes. This cute little cat. I'm going to cut and paste. If you ever see my my screen like shake like that, it's because I've tried to use the lasso tool only to realize I don't have that tool activated. So I'm on some other tool and instead I just end up shaking the page. <laughs> so that's what that's about. Um, okay, so I moved the, this week down into our little background area. And I'm going to create a little note section over here on this side that looks like it's sticking out of the pocket on the the binder of this planner. So I'm going to make it look like it's a little note card sticking out of a pocket. And I'm going to layer this up and put that there. And I'm going to label this as September, but I'm going to change my font color to be black so I can see it. And then I'm going to change my font to, someone asked me this, this is called uh, Breakable. I really like this font. It's a free font and it's commercial use if anyone is curious. Um, change the color to pink so it matches and be all pretty. So I think I'm going to use these little banner stickers for my dates, but I think it'd be more fun if I layer that up on top of the gold. And see, it's a different look. It's cute. Layering is fun, people. Layering is fun. All right, so I'm going to resize this to get it where I want. Um, I usually, if you notice when I resize uh, dates or little date banners, I usually do it with Wednesday because it's seems to take up the most room. So if I do it there, then I know it's going to fit everywhere else. And I'm going to center this alignment so I, I don't have to worry about adjusting it when I change the date. It'll always be centered. And once I have this little grouping, I can just copy it and paste it to the different days and then just go back and change the number for the date. So I don't have to go through the the whole process every single time i just do it once and then change the numbers makes it so much easier and i don't actually need three here so let's get rid of that one all right oh that's cute so now i'm going to just change the numbers so that they match okay so i love this quote but the only problem is I don't like how it lines up to go across the bar. So I'm going to come back to this set and I'm going to grab this just blank colorful box and then I'm going to stretch this guy out so that it can be a background for this sticker and it's not going to bug me that it goes across the line. Because I don't mind it going across the line, I just don't like seeing the line. So now I've got a whole nother look to a sticker. Cute. All right, so I like to use the highlighter and block off different areas where I can write my notes on the days. And usually I'll use those highlight lines to divide some of my notes throughout the day, um, unless I just have too many, then I leave those out. All right, so what else do we need to grab from here? This is a really cute set, you guys. You should definitely get this. I mean, get mine too, because I mean, come on, they're mine, but this is a great set. So I grabbed this day off sticker 
And once again, pulling in some of that gold that I used in some other elements. So I'm gonna grab some more gold things so that we just have a continuous little pop of gold here and there. That little squiggly arrow is so cute. Little paint splash that we'll put here so we can pull that gold in down at the bottom. And what else, what else? This little heart with the little arrow is super cute. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm just gonna create like this little cluster over here with my little bubble and my little cap. Super cute. What else, what else? These lip stickers are fun. So I'm gonna grab that. I don't exactly know where I wanna put it. I'm just gonna try it in a few different places until I decide something. So we'll just kind of move it around a bit and I'm going to grab this long bar, not that long, a little crazy. Let's try it again. Okay. And I'm going to move my highlight up. So this is going to be where I put in my note about um, my new planner collage starts at the beginning of the week. So I'm going to make that little note and the pink bubbles for this YouTube video. Well technically last week's video, but you get what I'm saying. Friday's when the YouTube video comes out. So I'm going to move these little hearts over here because they'll look cute with that. Do you guys mind when I ramble like that a little bit? It's okay. Um, okay. This lipstick is really cute and I think it'll be great right at the end of this little box. It's nice. What else? What else? Mm, so cute. So many good options in this set. Oh, don't forget, there's a discount code for YouTube viewers. So grab that. That's from my shop. Um, that's the, unfortunately, that's the only discount code I have for this collection of resources. Sometimes I have more, but that's all I have this time. This quote sticker, cute but psycho. I mean, I don't really see myself as cute, but I'm a little bit psycho. So, but that's okay. My husband loves me anyways. Despite that, it works for us. So, totally random. Okay, let's grab this gold washi tape once again, pulling in that gold aspect. And I'm gonna layer that up with this quote sticker, but I need to cut and paste these so that they layer. I know some of these other note-taking apps will allow you to layer things like tell it to go front and back but I don't mind the copy and paste thing it totally works for me sometimes when I have a lot of stickers and I want to navigate a little bit faster I'll use this view but sometimes it doesn't I mean goodness is not perfect people uh, sometimes it doesn't exactly register too good so that's what that is about okay and what else? Oh, let's grab this box here because colorful boxes are fun. I feel like it's a great way to add notes and a little bit of decoration. Um, so I'm going to stick that there for minutes on the weekend. And I'm going to use the shape tool so I can get straight lines because look, that is not a straight line. Now it is. So I'm going to draw around this to give it a little border so it pops a little more. Um, but I'm not sure I like the pink, so I'm going to use the lasso tool and tell it to change the color to black, and boom, it pops a little bit more, pulls in some of the other black, and that's going to be it, you guys. Isn't it cute? Super cute. I love it. So check for resources and, oh, okay, okay. that's enough.